Oh, hurry everyone and welcome up yeah, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with Fear uh, wait, where am I? <laughs> yep. Hold on, you should be showing up on this. Give me a second. Uh... Boss! Uh, it's dark, I can see! Oh, oh, oh I, I see what's going on already. Give me a moment. Uh, they're probably not getting caught on the mic anyways, because we are not in the correct voice channel. What? Oh, you were being heard. There we go. Uh, yeah, you, your avatar is set to this specific voice channel to be uh, looked at. Screenshot, please. <laughs> yeah. Uh, OBS, go live. And there we go. <laughs> Small issue, easily averted. And uh, yeah, uh, welcome and back. a red box around me. Uh, that's, supp that's supposed to cage you in. Uh, yeah. Welcome back, everyone who may be watching now or later to Minecraft with all the mod 7 with a few extras slapped onto it. Uh, specifically, the mods called Scuba, Project E, Paraglider, and I think there was one more. Give me a second. I wrote them down in a Word document. Okay, a grappling hood mod as well. Small oh stuff dear. shouldn't be anything to destabilize anything. Okay, just moving the stats bar up a bit so it doesn't look annoying on my side screen. And uh, yeah, we've been busy a bit, or rather I've been more busy. Uh, I've dug all of this out. We've built the restaurant, which, well, for a true dwarven structure has a lot of wood in it. And yes, I had to dig all of that up because level one builders still absolutely suck at just digging stuff out. And I've also upgraded the builder's hut to level two. We could set it to level three, but we lack some of the materials that we would have to find. Uh, and this is currently on the, the yeah, this is currently for a house that's being built right next to the restaurant. I'm planning to build most of the houses over there. <clears throat> But yeah, building, upgrading this, we would need yeah, mossy cobblestone, which I don't know how we can get at the moment. And acacia uh, logs, which we haven't found yet, I think. Uh, off stream, I've done quite a bit of work. We've, well, this is, uh, that's the, <laughs> that's our restaurant uh, proprietor at the moment. Uh, we've had a change of builder because the builder got killed by a wild and that flew over the wall. So maybe we, we almost lost start... an auto builder earlier due to yeah. uh, one of those mini zombies. Yeah, I, I have no idea where the hell that came in from. We some uh, skeletons tried to pick uh, type yeah, took pot shots at us from up there, but I've lit that up. So yeah, I have no idea where that uh, baby zombie came from. I'll just have to check around some more. And uh, yeah, other than that. As you can see, I found enough. Actually, I didn't find enough uh, Ender Pulse. I made enough Ender Pulse with Project E to, uh, yeah, make the waystones that we needed. So now we have one over here, right next to the for uh, furnace, for the smeltery, the ship, and the little uh, hut in here. We also have this wind chime. I just realized that we have a mod installed for that. I've also sorted stuff a little bit here. Yeah, a lot of this is going to be moved into the ship soon, since we're going to renovate that thing. Yeah, there's, there's just a lack of space in there at the moment without just digging out a lot more. <clears throat> and, well, yep. this already has a lot of pre-made and pre-lit room. Also, there's these things in the mod, hammocks, which you can use to skip the night time, actually. Yep, and we're probably going to decorate this a bit more, since... Yeah, how was it now that we have a... Lower wise, we have a very special ships, correct? A special ship, you mean how? Uh, lower, uh, lower uh, wise, the bandy VTuber. Uh, yeah, we we technically have to start that still, but I'm, the way I'm going to have the uh, YouTube, the V, not YouTuber, VTuber lore, is that we're based. Actually, for that, we're going to have to steal one of the airships that should be spawning somewhere. But yeah, this will be a good prototype for the. In the meantime, <laughs> yeah, do technically a ship that can be on water and air is probably a more 
track the ship, then the, the one that can just be in the air, if you think about it. Let's see. What the? Uh, uh, this is something that's for, uh, that's part of Create, I believe, or at least as far as far I know, Create started with this. Um, you can have little cinematics like this play out to well get an idea of what stuff is. Okay, Coril Tombstone took that over. Uh, but how do we actually get something out of this stuff? Okay, we combine it with things. Okay. Impregnated diamond. Anchor tray, uh, right? Okay, so we're going to have to keep that stuff. And I thought it was some sort of mini loot box, but apparently not. Uh, we'll just have to stash it somewhere to show that it's reasonably valuable. I think we had more of it. And just tell me if the wind chime noise is annoying or not. I don't hear it. Okay, I can only hear it, like, very softly. Also, I've oh, had yeah. to fend off a raid after, well, Gavin got a bit annoyed with his house arrest. So, yeah, he called in some friends and... <laughs> They got their asses kicked, but actually, I, I I got my ass kicked plenty of times during it, but at least I had a spawn point nearby. I also plucked out the portal here and put it down uh, next to the colony, besides the other portal that we already had. And during some exploring, I also found the other uh, portal from that system, or from Blue Skies, and I also put it down here. Yeah, this is a temporary setup. We're probably going to move the portal room further in and a bit more nicer, but at least that will work for now. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking we'll have our own residence probably built over the colony at some point, probably on top of the warehouse to just be close to well, all of the materials. For now, though, let's see if we can find all of the stuff that we need for this house to be built. So at least some of the villagers are going to stop complaining at us. For that, we're going to need a bunch of cobblestone stairs, glass panes, wooden doors, oak slabs. Okay, nothing too special. And also, I put up this little th thing here. These are little bonsai yeah, <laughs> breeders, which because of the axes put inside of them, they will auto-harvest them when they are done. So we will have a good supply of wood to go for quite a while. So yeah, I kind of didn't need to plant all of those around, but it was only after that that I found out about these. Now let's see, yeah, what was it again? Yeah, and I, I, I knew about them, but I forgot to tell them last time we streamed this off-stream. Yeah, just an easy so I'm gonna have to find it out uh, before me. Uh, so yeah, all is good <laughs> for the moment, at least. Uh, that's not going to be enough. Okay, yeah, definitely not enough. Only seventy-two. We're going to need a hell of a lot more of those. Okay, it felt like for a moment like I bumped my head on something. Yeah, actually. Let's just make as many as we kill, can with what we have in our inventory at the moment. And if that's not enough, we'll just see. Okay, it is enough now. Glass panes, oak door. Uh, might as well just get a stack of these. Okay. Oak doors and what's that? Something else? Oak slabs, yes. So might as well just make a bunch of those since they're probably going to be needed for quite a bit. And just throw them into the inventory here or over here. It's already starting to fill up a bit. Wait, uh, I think I know how we get mossy cobblestone. Uh, how then? I, I think Moss. I recall something about vines. That might work too, but I think it. I think moss grows on dirt and stone. We know where there's a bunch of mossy stone nearby. So yeah, having those uh, placed near cobblestone, 
Should after a while turn them into mossy cobblestone. Okay, a rack and a red bed. We're going to need to find some sheep and for taming and breeding and while coloring their wool. Um, I'll actually probably have to build, make, uh, make more leads for that. Uh, I left that there for easy mushroom stew making. Aspen logs, no. Um, let's head up a sec. To the harbor. Also, I, I changed things up a bit here. I just removed all of the random plants and just replaced them with wheat. And I put this down here down for to auto, well, to semi-automate bone meal production. Uh, we have a bunch of chickens because they keep laying eggs near the edge for me to catch. Uh, our pig got killed by a Walden. But uh, yeah, the cows are still here. I also added this for growing industrial hemp because we can actually turn it into string as well as carrots and potatoes and some melons as well. Air melons. <laughs> what? Make your it's own jokes there. Uh, oh. <laughs> I forgot that. <laughs> How did I forget that easy... Uh, well, it was supposed to be three melons, as you can see. There's a third sprout here, but it's it's refusing to put down <laughs> its stuff. I think it's a bit too close. Okay, you lot get to work. And oh, like I really hope we can find out uh, if we can implement the mythical mount to this. For it's it's not part of mod seven or six. It's its own mod. Okay. But if we're lucky, we could add it into this. If we're lucky. Come on. Uh, also, the colonists are already getting a bit snippy about the quality of food that they're getting, even though we are still at the freaking start. So, yeah, I think I'm going to have to create uh, a KFC downstairs. <laughs> but you have the chickens for it. Yep. I was going to need to find a way to move them down. And, oh, we've got a bee out of its hive. Uh, actually, why not just grab the eggs and make new ones down there instead? Good point, yeah. <laughs> but they are... Well, la ba lack of better metaphor, breeding like rabbits. <laughs> There are actually rabbits uh, in the <laughs> in the game as well. We're actually going to need to find some eventually if we want slime boots. Because we actually need a rabbit's foot to make those. Before, in the older versions of Tinker, you could just uh, make it out of slime blocks. But I guess they just made... They thought that was a bit too easy. Uh, let's see. We need glass. I was already making some in here, I believe. Yep, there we go. And, uh, yeah, leads. We should be able to make, yeah, with slime balls and string. There's no going to need to well, get our hands on string. Because I believe you are out of hem. Uh, oh. Okay, we are out of hemp, but we are definitely not out of hemp seeds. I should maybe make us a... a a farm specifically just for this stuff. There we go. That was not intentional. But we can just pull this thing out and fix that. I should probably also put a fence around this. And we should also make a little place for... <clears throat> I see a zombie up ahead. A place for the uh, sheep when we eventually get them over here, hopefully in this stream. I also made a crafting stick on a well, crafting table on a stick to make it a lot more easier to well craft stuff out in the open. There we go. Actually, just go like that. More than plenty. And we've given them five by five space, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. One, two. Let's 
three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And there. Now we just need to put on a gate, and then we can put in some sheep when we find them. I probably should, yeah, I should call this tree farm that I put down here as well, because it's probably going to need to spawn, uh, yeah, do a lot of monster spawning. Yeah, um, and we do need wood. Even though we have plenty going on downstairs at the moment, it's still better to just have more of it than too little. Yeah, um, do, I wonder, does our uh, colony reach all the way here? Uh, no, you can see it on the mini-map where its border is. Ah, alright. Uh, okay, yeah, then we are unable to use the abandoned village, then. Or the abandoned yeah. colony, I mean. For the moment, yeah. Uh, uh, um, it's not a biggie. It, if we were directly under it, maybe you could have used it. But... Yeah. Not the end of the world. I also, also made this spell book that uh, Drakir uh, made me aware of. Yep, and I also uh, rewatched the video about it, and you can change the color of some of your spells. Yep, I s you can see that here. All right, so you, uh, you decided for it to be purple. No, that's a stand. <laughs> let's just leave it. Let's make it full red. So we can, we're aware. If we're just randomly flinging spells that we are aware that that is the uh, the harm spell. Yes. Okay. It, it sounds like a lazy name for a spell. What's this spell called? Harm. Well, it, it is a deck. It's exactly, <clears throat> it, <clears throat> exactly what it says on the tin. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, this little, this I... Yeah, this tool here is a matok, which is a combination of a hoe and an axe, which allows it to well. Actually, it's not being counted as an axe for some reason on all of the, on these blocks. It's odd. It, sh it should be. Hmm. Maybe it's not meant for planks. Wooden, Could be. Uh, more for actual logs. Uh, speaking of logs, if we right-click on a tree with the oop, with the axe. We strip off all of the bark. Rude. <laughs> also, I made a back... Hello? I made a backpack so we can carry more stuff around. Uh, let's put the iron away. And the book. Okay. Going to need to drop that off in a bit. Okay, it's not being counted as a axe, but it still breaks you know, wood pretty fast. Okay, another... No, that's the logs. Another gate here. There we go. Now, things generally should be more safe here. Then again, the... Just to say that something that can shoot right over it appears. Yeah, I think I missed the this now. We, yeah, we should probably make it taller. I'll I'll put up some of. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just for that moment we're just going to put up a bunch of this. Uh, I could put in fence posts later to, well, make it easier to see through, uh, through and such, without having to climb on top of something. But yeah, we should definitely make the pens of the animals safer at least because like i said earlier we <clears throat> our <laughs> our only pig got murdered by a hungry walden yeah and not only that he dared to t-pose against us as if summon wolves and yeah he did not take kindly to that he just uh yeah shoved him shoved him down on the spot Okay, uh, let's try and avoid them escaping. I could probably, yeah, probably remove this and replace it as well. Uh, I, I could see us making the animal pens bigger in future, since, like, 
sheep need to graze to be able to regrow their wool. And I can't turn grass blocks into dirt blocks after a while, so... Yeah, okay. giving sheep big area is definitely a good idea. Okay, one or two chickens loose in the field is, isn't going to be a big deal. They can... That they can deal with uh, bugs, even though there aren't any in the fields like that. <laughs> yeah. And again, they are making enough eggs as it is. Gee, might as well replace, uh, like I said, re replace all of the fencing as well. Oh, oh, it's not making more because we don't have space for more. There we go. Uh, will the Mantog really not work on this or something? Hmm. Let's actually see. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised. No. I wouldn't be surprised if the villagers need these or something. Uh, with that, you mean what exactly? The Mantogs or the fences? Fences. Yeah, okay, but they're easy enough to make. Yeah, but it saves time to not need to make them. See there. I'm pretty sure nothing should be able. To... Okay, we we can slip through that. So mobs should be able to slip through that as well. So all the more reason to replace all of this. And hello. let's actually go. S oh, hello. What are you doing on land? Hmm. Are you heard our holy Lord and Holy Savior Kufulu? A bit too much, actually. Okay, let's get in here. So, yeah, oh, that, actually, I think we should just be able... We, I think we can just loot these beds from here and color them instead. To make it a bit easier on ourselves. And we have plenty of roses to make into red dye. So, let's go take a look at that. Wait, someone needed a red bed? Yeah, the, for some reason the uh, the colonists only accept red beds. <laughs> okay. Romantic, I guess. Let's move everything away for the moment. With most of the stuff at least. I'll find all of that later for now. Uh, yeah, finish this off, make the red bed. Actually, we could probably just make all of those beds red and just put them in the inventory of the builder to get it done with. Yeah, it's probably a good idea for... But, but what are you going to do with uh, six beds? Uh, nothing really, especially since the... Go the yeah, since the... <laughs> Since the crew is supposed to be a bunch of golems, which don't need sleep. I've got dips for the hammock. Wait, you, you didn't forget me, did you? Mm, maybe. <laughs> but, <coughs> pardon? You can take the map. Uh, you can take the hammock. Yay! Okay, now what I was thinking of was to do something like this that way we can still have a good sight line over the, the wall and well uh, nothing should be able to jump on top of this to get through those little gaps all right good uh, though we could also to... swap these out yeah that's probably a better idea to do there we go i'll continue that off screen sometime but for now uh, let's just get rid of this inter bit since this area is no longer dangerous. And yeah, then we continue on with the colony downstairs. And whilst the builder is busy building, we'll go look at something else to do, like uh, Ars Nouveau, which is where that spell book comes from. Yeah, and we also we look for sheep. Spells. These chickens. Let's see. Roses. 
And yeah, they was turned into two each. So bed, die, red bed. Okay. Yeah, don't forget the other beds. Yeah, only one is going to be needed at the moment. And well, we're probably going to upgrade this thing immediately as well, so it'll house another uh, villager. Uh, mine colony houses, well, they house at one villager per level, I believe. And they can be upgraded to level four or five. So they, well, they should be able to house four or five villagers. And when you placed it down, you inspected uh, first how big it would be at max level? Uh, it, 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 yeah. The size doesn't change in the uh, sideways or anything. It does go... They do tend to build upwards. Ah, all right. That's good. Then you don't need to worry about building too close or such. Yeah. I'm going to keep a... Yeah, a reasonable di distance between them, so that we can put, uh, yeah, just roads between them. But at the moment, this guy is going to be digging this out. So whilst he's doing that, we can get continue gathering the resources, like the glass that he wanted. It's he wanted in panes and then a, a rack. Okay. Here we go. Uh, actually, we can just put those straight into the inventory. Well, how did you get an osmium? He, he probably dug that up whilst he was excavating. A bunch of extra stuff. Okay, now he wants a rack. For that, we're going to need iron in not ingots, nuggets. And I think I had some of those nearby. The Otherwise, fried we just... iron nuggets. <laughs> Otherwise, we can just break up a, an ingot. Stellarite freeze. Okay, forbidden and arcanus. We'll have to look into that some other time, though, for the moment. Yeah, this one has several magic mods. Yeah, a lot of them, actually. I've, writ I've gone through the uh, note. The I've gone through the mod list as it says. So, as it's. Well, as Curseforge says that it is. Uh, in the, the mod pack, if, if my English there made any sense at all, and and wrote down well most of the ones that actually should have an effect. I still needed like a sm pretty small, yeah, uh, pretty reasonably sized paper for that. Uh, yeah, I thought mm -hmm. it. <laughs> uh, I'm opening up the backpack with B, by the way, and also now that we are here, let's put this down. What is that? It's a market. Yep. <laughs> and it's manned. Yeah, we can, we, can sure. basically, we can basically trade emeralds for, well, seeds of any kind, any kind of sapling. And for that, let's actually, let's actually give him one of our emeralds so we can get an acacia uh, sapling and put that in one of these. I, Ebony is probably going to look pretty pretty, but we're not going to need it for construction. I, I was saying, we probably should expand this well as many tree types as possible. Yeah, as many as it'll take at least, because it doesn't take some like this cherry woods, or at least it didn't earlier. Yeah, and yeah, and probably upstream we will expand the walls and start trying to do them proper instead of well that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but l Just like you said, it's going to be off screen. Also, this here is the Philosopher's Stone that we use to turn iron into ender pearls. I believe there is supposed to be some way that you can automate that sort of, that you can just put in materials, build up uh, yeah, EMC value, and then exchange that for other things. But I'll have to look into that more for now. One sapling. Why does EMC make me think of the TNT song? <laughs> and we'll just take that. Probably because it has a similar sound. 
Ebony log, ebony log. Rats. 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 Soapstone. Soaps. Ebony there. Okay. Yeah, and we still also need to adventure more to the nether for we need basalt and all that. Yeah. For the moment though, just dump all of that there. Dump anything else that we don't need at the moment. Dark oak, ebony, rubber wood also wouldn't be accepted. And uh, we have a bunch of ebony <laughs> saplings. Uh, hemp, we'll keep that on us. It's not a food, but we still need it, or we still want to have it for the string that it'll produce. And a bunch of wood. I'll put that in here as well. Glass doesn't really have a place somewhere for those shards there. And yeah, we're, we're going to need to find something to do with all of these freaking sticks. Uh, I also made some other well, on a stick stuff, like a grindstone on a stick, which should be useful for repairing stuff, I think. Or Oh, repair and disenchant. Okay. Wait, as in remove a bad enchantment? I assume so. A loom, which I don't actually know what... Oh, we can use this to make flags and such. Yep, okay. uh, which you can use to decorate your shield. A stone cutter. Uh, speaking of shield, my shield actually broke off stream. So let's go fix that. I wonder... Actually, can we make some special shields with the mod? Let's actually look. Shields. Well, maybe you need to get some quality shields. Okay, there is a silent... Uh, silent there, there are shields in silent uh, gear. Uh, that we could look at. But for the moment, I'm just going to make a normal shield. So we have at least something. Will this actually work with birch woods? Yes, it does. And it doesn't make anything different about it. Okay. Pit pity. Yeah, Silent Gear is a bit of a cousin to Tinkers. And for anyone wondering, this is because of, I was toying around with the Philosopher's Stone. It basically can change blocks into stuff of the same value. Yeah, we should probably figure out what to do with that house. Yeah, it Actually, doesn't really have a, it doesn't really have a use at the moment. Could be a safe place to park the horse. True. That way, yeah, we don't have something random just killing the horse. It'll be a bit uh, <laughs> rainy on it, perhaps. But it'll uh, at least green. be safe. Er. Yeah, we, we, we can get... We can... We probably will make a better stable at the future. At the moment, can we even get in like this? Yes, we can. Okay, put that there. Get off. And there you go. You stay. Um, I don't think that's going to keep it in, really, but... Uh, I'm thinking, what, what, why? You, you need a second door there. That's why I'm looking for if we have any normal oak lying around. Yep, there's another door. There we go. <laughs> Much better. Um, let's see. What was it that the builder required next? Ah, yeah, rack. Uh, we already have... We had iron in our possession, but it got sorted into the stuff. Easy enough, though. We can just grab some. Uh, we'll grab some stuff that we need. We're going to need... Do that. Actually, actually, no, we need one more thing, which is the build tool. Build tool in the center. Then, yeah, actually, no, we need the nuggets first. There, nugget there, nugget there, build tool in the middle, and then wood on top and bottom. There we go. One rack. Pretty useful for storage because they actually connect to each other like chests. 
Okay, there we go. Now it's been 100% supplied. And once it, the builder is done digging out everything, they should start putting everything down. Actually, I, sh I should take a look. What matter of what grade of tool can they use now? Like level zero, they can use wooden only. Level one, they can use stone. Uh, let's see. Where should we should be able to see that somewhere? Settings, no. Work orders required. Hmm. Yeah, here we need go, to the red awesome. uh, Okay, each worker hut has uh, to have their building built at the least level one before they can do anything except the builder. If the builder has a hut at level zero, no hut, they can only build one thing, their own hut. Okay, here we go. Level two, iron tools. Okay, so we can just give them a, some iron tools to be able to work faster. And well, yeah, we do have a good amount of iron in our inventory here. Makes me so... wonder, would, would that mean it, it'd be a good idea to give them enchanted tools? I'm not sure if they can use enchanted stuff. I think that actually specifically says so in here. Yeah, enchanted tools, level four to five. Honestly, they can use it, just would be a while. Yep. Uh, now we're... Oh, it's nighttime, so of course they're, <laughs> they're huddling together for warmth. Ow. Uh, yeah, you probably should sleep as well. I, I, I kind of find it funny. The, uh, ignoring the only bed around. I should, I should probably build a tavern as well. That should be able to house uh, four villagers or colonists for a while at least. Yeah, the, it, it would uh, also give us uh, options to recruit new ones with better stats. Yeah, some of them can be pretty pricey though, and some just run the fuck off once you <laughs> give them the stuff. There we go. That should speed up whatever they're doing. Uh, we need stuff. Uh, there's our eggs, okay. Um, do we have enough? Yeah, we, we have plenty of wood to make another pen. So let's grab some sticks. Grab some logs. Yeah, where, where should we put the pen, though? Yeah, we can put it right next to the kitchen. Does we mean you need to tear down some uh, cobblestone wall? Or we can just put it here for the moment. Actually, we can just connect this to the wall here, I think. Yeah, for hmm. now we look at it. Why did you six sack it when you just could build right into the mountain wall? Uh, because you dumb. Just... Yeah, you basically made more work for yourself. Hmm. Is the game audio rather soft for you? It is for me. Yeah. Kind of surprising that? about that. Oh, at master volume level. <laughs> okay, let's put that at 80 so we don't blast our ears out. There we go. So that we, we probably could make a little cave for the chickens there, in a way. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Kentucky Fried Cave Chicken. That actually sounds tasty. And you want to be right back, I gotta throw some food into the machine. It's that time anyway. <laughs> uh, uh, what are you doing? Now oh, we've done this before on Coravel server. Oh, no. Pit chickens. Welcome to the world. You're stuck in a pit. <laughs> We should probably have something uh, growing nearby as well, just to have the, <laughs> the seeds to feed them. Yeah, it, we probably should give them a better pit at some t point, or just build a cave farm of some sort. Yeah, there is a specific mine building that is for, well, housing and growing chickens. But I'm not sure if we can actually make that. Some of these buildings actually require some research to be done first. 
Uh, let's see. I Mine... suspect you're going to need to build oh. a research hut uh, at some point. Yeah, it's not a hut. It's a big-ass building. Let's see. Chicken farm. Oh, dear. Oh, we, we can already, should be already be able to build that. We just need an egg. Yes. All right. Yes. Yes, we just build that next to the restaurant instead. Yep. It would make sense. It will need someone to man it. Already 16 eggs again. In the meantime, let's call the horde a bit. So we can at least start feeding the colony. Okay, now we should be able to pick up everything. Okay, that should last for a while, and still plenty of chickens left. <laughs> One of them ran back right back in. Okay, uh, move all that is unneeded in there. The moment. Here we go, and back. Welcome back. Thank you. And it's not chicken I'm making, I'm just making some uh, grilled sausages. I, I had a chicken burger earlier. I don't think I've ever had a chicken burger. It's good. Especially if you buy the ones I buy that are like 98% chicken breast fillet. Okay. Yes, I, I pay a bit extra for the better quality burger. It's a bit surprisingly restaurant quality. Like, I think a burger restaurant use these burgers as well. Okay. And already they're laying eggs like mad again. See what? Yeah, yeah, now you see why I said uh, that we just need to carry the eggs down there. Uh, I'm just going to grab those extra feathers. But yeah, starting a chicken form is easy. You don't need to transport the chickens, really. You just need the eggs. Problems be more when you need to deal with cows, sheep, and pigs. And, well, they don't like eggs. Yeah. So, mods like this typically have something in them to make transporting things easier. For the moment, though... Yeah, and I'm not be surprised we can also make a pig farm. Yeah. For now, though, the but builder is first busy with... Uh, <clears throat> with the house for a bit. Yeah, I think we, we need we'll probably use the pit for now until we have enough people to... Handle a chicken farm? Yep. <laughs> okay, we just gotta hope that the, the colonists don't get driven mad by all the clucking. Let's see, chicken. Okay, they have that. Fuel, yes. Smelting recipes, let's teach you how to you know, cook chicken. There we go. Now we just have to stock them with chicken, and they should get to work on cooking that themselves. Actually, we can add the sticks for fuel as well. Let's see, stick. On. There we go. Now they should start cooking with sticks. And yeah, they're all being angry. Or actually, more accurately, they're being hangry. <laughs> No. Okay, what do you need to dig out still? Actually, that part of that is pretty obvious. It's the, <laughs> it's the first section of wall. Uh, I can show how the uh, house would look at the at its max level if we just try to put down something else with the builder's tool. So, let's kind of dig it out again. There. And yeah, that is how it will look at the max level. And it also gives us a bit of an idea of how high we'll have to dig. Yeah, not too much luckily though, by looks of it. And well, I did make that break spell with this as well. Yep, only need some modifiers so you can do more than just one block at a time. 
Unless you yeah. already fixed that. No, I haven't found any. Uh, I will have to check that book of this to see how uh, how we're supposed to find new spells and such. Or new modifiers. Well, you need to upgrade the useful. book. And you probably also need to research the other glyphs. Because I think you either use the book or a table for that. All right, we'll have to check that later for the moment. Yeah, the, the builder really needs help just digging all of this out. Um, actually, let's let's just go with normal stone. That it will be easier to dig up. And then what I do is I start a pillar. Okay. Now, how high is higher still? And higher still. And it seems we're breaking into a cave. That's but that's kind of good. If we break into a cave, that means we don't need to dig out too much. But it also means that things can spawn in. Oh. Luckily, we have plenty of torches. Oh, it's not a cave, it's just an air pocket. Okay, that's a lot better. There we go. That's the max height needed. And yeah, then we're just going to need to go around to find the other edges. Yeah, I probably should just put that right next to it. Okay. And once again, this all this material will be used in one way or another. Eventually, hopefully. If not for building, it'll be converted into stuff that we can actually use. Yeah, like and then you said the thing about true doorways, they may be big, but they use uh, more uh, accessible materials. Uh, that's what I'm guessing, at least. Because that yeah, seems to be the cost, case. They seem to look cost a lot of cobblestone, which... I do see that cobblestone is apparently one of those materials you get just way too much of easily. There's a harvest moon, but okay, we're not growing too much. Uh, speaking of growing, there's actually one way that we could automate uh, food production, or at least food, produ produ yeah, food production for bread and such, or at least for wheat, with uh, a mod called Everse Immersive Engineering. Uh, I've, I've uh -oh. mentioned that before to you. It's though it it adds those uh, growing chambers, exactly right there. I think you have. I also hope it's ain't one of those annoying ones. You need to make cables and everything, and put lay cables everywhere just to make it work. I don't think so. They should work on their own. And so let me get this the shovel back. Going to have to stash some stuff quick in a bit. So do we really need growing shavers when we already have bonsai? Yeah, uh, it the bonsai in that bonsai uh, the bonsai stuff is on for woods. This would oh, be for right. foods. Okay, my bad there. My bad there. I forgot. Okay, just continue cleaning this up. Uh, yeah, the builders are pretty bad at digging out stuff on their own, at, at least at the start, I believe. Hmm. So yeah, we'll have to look into immersive engineering. It shouldn't be too tough to get that uh, going. And yeah, to get back down... I just simply, well, make a staircase out of the pillar that I built. There we go. Uh, 
This is this looks painful. But I can I, I used to exercise by taking eight floors of stair almost every day. Oh, no, no, not just eight floors. I took eight floors five times. Okay. Problem is, you can't use the stair room during summer for it's a damn sauna. And after a while, I noticed it is that okay, the times when I stopped exercising through my leg hurt, I realized it was always the same leg. The leg closest to the pillow, but it was the, that one that always had to bend for each damn circle or turn, and that damn thing was all circle. Yeah, um, and let's see if... I, I, I tried so much ago to try to uh, use it for exercise again, but I gave it up, for I realized that those stairs, one, they are good for losing weight and all that. They are painful on my knees due to the sharp turn. Okay, yeah, that's a good reason to stop with it. Uh, what I'm doing now is I'm actually going to exchange that uh, barrel for another type of chest, which should be able to hold more. Oh, a special chest. Okay, we can't go directly to iron. We need copper to start with then. And there's no copper in there, only iron and some tin. Did we find some copper down there? Yeah, we found plenty of copper. <laughs> So let, let's just shove that all in here. And we could probably just move the, the metal chest out here since this is where we're most of it, yeah, dealing with it the most anyways. But yeah, we should be able to make... Let's see... Copper chest. Yep, there we go. Just a chest with copper around it and then we can upgrade that into... <clears throat> Iron chests, that to gold, and that to diamond, and finally crystal, which uses amethyst and glass now, or obsidian. Okay. Okay, Neither that of which I guess. Is up, upgrades, I'm guessing. Let me guess. They, one, one, one of those boxes gonna be able to store a lot of things. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's, that will make organizing easier, for you only need basically like three of them if lucky enough there we go that's a bunch of copper now that isn't uh <clears throat> that isn't mixed into tin because there's too little tin at the moment for mixing um, okay we can also just make upgrades like this so we don't actually have to pick up a chest to upgrade it So there we go. Uh, let's make the ingots first. And now I can hear the wind chimes pretty well in my ear. Okay, I can as well. Or was I was barely able to hear it unless I really, really listen closely. Uh, wait, what? Hold on, hold on. Wait, what, what kind of chest do you make? Iron. Oh, I was to say that that, that didn't look copper. Wait, um, how much? I don't we have enough. Okay, we could immediately upgrade it to gold. Uh, okay, how much does it have in store? Okay, I... Yeah. Upgrading okay. that to gold will probably be very beneficial. Yeah, at the moment it seems to have about the same as a normal double chest. For that size, it's damn good, actually. Yep. It's a, it, it saves at least half the size. Uh, actually, we need that. Now, how do we make a gold upgrade then? Gold chest. Okay, we just need blank chest. Okay, flint and planks. We have plenty of flint and plenty of wood to make into planks. Uh, there we go. Just need to find it for a sec. Uh, where's... Here we go. Let's do this and that. And then we put the gold around that. Yep. And we just apply that. There we go. 
Yeah, now it has more space than you know, it's a normal double chest. Okay, I can see directly if you have two gold chests. Load the heck! And we can upgrade it even further. Yeah, we, we definitely need those in the Arcane Forge for... Yeah, giving the special metals in the Arcane Forge would probably be a good idea. So I suspect the villagers only use vanilla. I think so. They, they don't actually come looking for stuff outside of their own buildings or their own work areas. Yeah, this means when we make the Arcane Forge, we will have our own special storage just for the special metals. So yeah, we would be only ones using it. And might as well just keep it near the forge directly. Um, actually, something that I should have been doing a long time ago is emptying these out. Because this is almost running out and drying. Oh. Okay, you met into that. <laughs> I'm not going to make Kentucky Fried Chicken that way. And yeah, I made, oop. I made wait, another of these wait. fuel tanks. Oh, well, I, I thought was it, we could throw him into the furnace as a fuel. <laughs> now enough stuff has died in this thing to make... <laughs> to add the blood in there. I actually thought that... The, I, I actually thought the horse got itself killed in the smeltery because it gotten loose from its lead. I'm so glad he didn't. Okay, get those back. Uh, get our bread. Don't really have yeah, a need we, of lunders. We should probably soon upgrade the backpack again, I think. I'm not even sure if you can upgrade them, but let's have a look. I think you can. I think I saw you saw someone having a bigger backpack than you. And netherite backpack, diamond backpack, gold, iron. Okay. Uh, oh, what just level do you have? With, just surround it with iron, then gold, and then diamonds. Okay. Okay, that's... Wait, we might have enough. Yep. Um... Oh, I suspect we definitely want a good backpack for whenever we adventure or gather materials. I don't Actually, remember if gold mixes with any of these. So we'll just see if it does or not. Yeah, I, I only know of one gold alloy, and that's gold, tin, and copper. And the one I was using it was, I think, the Aztec. Yeah, molten rose gold. It is mixing with something. Okay, so that means we're just going to pour out all of the stuff into blocks and ingots. Um, that was this going off. I'm gonna check on my food. Okay. Uh, one note. Let's see. Three ingots left of that. Yeah, it is a good idea to empty out your uh, smeltery every now and then to avoid unwanted uh, mixtures. Okay, one more ingot. Now, molten copper, two blocks, two ingots. It is a tiny bit of a waste, because you'll have to use up fuel again to smelt it if you want to mix it in with something after. But, oh well, it's better than to, well, throw in an entire stack of <laughs> iron to have it mix into something that's worse. Okay, copper. Actually, throw one of you back in there. So we can just make pour it out at, like, yeah, as a block. I probably should make more faucets as well to speed this up. Four ingots of iron. Hmm. <clears throat> I definitely should see into... Actually, aren't there mufflers or something in this? Wither boss death, ender boss death, muffler, muffler upgrades, modular routers. 
Okay. Reduces noise generated by machinery. And surprise sound effects, particle effects. Oh, well, from routers. Okay, so a bit useless for silencing the chickens. Okay, one block of copper. And I actually might as well empty this thing out for a moment so we can upgrade it. Keep that, keep that. Helium? I think you forgot hmm. something. Hmm? You moved, you made a new chicken farm downstairs. Yeah, which means that I could technically slaughter all of these. <laughs> exactly! Okay. One iron backpack. Which, oh, that is all, quite a lot already. <laughs> okay, we're definitely you know, upgrading it. about that? Yep. I, I'm surprised I actually got so interested in this our micro service so much. I actually investigate a little bit with other players <laughs> playing this. Okay, this might still mix together for some rose gold, but that shouldn't be too bad since it's only nuggets, some nuggets worth. Yeah, I wonder what we use rose gold for. It, it's one of the tinker's materials, I believe. We'll have and to it's... make the book to see what it is, uh, what its stats are. Yeah, for if it's good for like something like a pummel and guard, then sure, I can see it be used for some some weapons. As we long as it's not the blade. We should be able to make all of the uh, all of the tinker's books at the moment. There. Now let's and... see how much storage it has now. Yeah, that's more than plenty. Okay, we don't have enough diamonds to upgrade that, but I don't think we'd need to upgrade it with diamonds. Uh, not yet, at least. It, it can wait for. That's big enough to let's save us see. so much time. I'm looking for leather, there. And I'm looking for whatever books we might have already made. Enchantment uh, book, no. I think we need grout to make one of the books. Actually, let's take a look at our advancements. That should give us a tell on what we have and have not made yet. Uh, create... In grout record. food? Uh, no, let's see. A paraglider. We, just, we need to make one of these. Okay, uh -oh. obtain a paraglider. Complete your first bargain. Statue's bargain. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Pray for the goddess exchange for spirit. Okay, this is adding. This is added a lot more than what I actually thought. <laughs> Hero of Hyrule. Okay. Uh, normal project E. Apply the genetic face the rainbow. What? Okay. Mine colonies. The builder can, le uh, can learn two by two recipes, teaching the recipe for a torch and not crafted when needed. Nature's aura, husbandry, belongs in a museum, silent gear, colony production, tombstone, young, adventure. Where is. Shouldn't Tinkers be somewhere? Yep, yeah, yeah, right here at the freaking start. Okay, basic smelt. Smelt tree 201. Craft the guidebook into the smelt tree. Uh, mighty smelting. Okay, I think I remember how we need to do that. Uh, we'll have to make a book for that first. Actually, we already have two books still. Um, wait, 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 hold up. What are you... Oh, alright. Just did that to I... get rid of the bit of gold that was still in there. Wait. wait. Are you telling me you're gonna pour metal on the book? Yep. Um, I, I don't think that's how it works. Yeah, it works. It is how in this case. We just need to make one brick, smelt that down, and then pour it over. Oh no! Uh, might as well grab all of our stuff here. 
I'll sort out what needs to be in and out of our inventory in a bit. For now... Yeah, let's see. Is one oak, one set of planks enough to smelt this thing? If not, we can throw in the stair as well. Not the glass, though. Ah, uh, barely not enough. Just throw that in. I could just grab some coal, but... I just want to finish this. There we go. Now we have one seared stone in there. We pour that over the book. And there we go. Mighty smelting. This will tell us more about stuff. And it'll actually, this is also how you learn about the, well, the broad tools, as they are called here. Cleaver, broad axe, scythe, excavator, sledgehammer, and vein hammer. I've already talked a bit about those. Uh, with the, we can move back to the start of the book with this. It also tells you how Looks to make like the tinker's anvil. Or is that, is that armor Def that there? Let's see. Defense. Defense modifiers can only be applied to armor using defense slots. Okay. Hmm. The emerald reinforcement, seared reinforcement. Okay. Through the fire and the flames. <laughs> Okay, so these are specific things that can only be applied to specific uh, <clears throat> types of armor, like boots, melee protection, pants. Okay. Special defense modifiers boost in ways other than raw defense. Piglins will not attack you. Single level requires one defense slot. Hold on, how do we... Wait, did they integrate armor into normal tinkers or something? Tinker. Let's see. Is there any armor that I'm seeing here? Uh, oh, magnets. Okay, we. I'm yeah. I'm not seeing any armor. Oh, here we go. Plate boots. Traveler's boots. Slime shell. Slime Lytra. Okay. So that might be in part why the uh, the Tinker's armor stuff stopped. Because Tinker started putting it in, their, in themselves. Okay, that needs Cobalt and Chains. Yeah, Cobalt and Chains. This is Leather, Glass, and Copper. Okay. I repeat... Hmm. Hammering on cobalt to make into armor a weapon is a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> For now, though, let's goes boom. get a bit more leather. But uh, it has a big chance to go boom. So, but well, you might be able to make a sword. There's a good chance you blew yourself up. Okay, I don't know how explosive it is, but I don't. I, I think even a few flying shots could be deadly. Yeah, <laughs> that that is why grenades are deadly, because of the flying shards. Yeah. Okay, let's try and speed up the growth of our cows a bit. Okay, why is this place a bit bare? Because we can we can for, well we can force feed the uh, younger animals foods to make them grow up faster. Sounds concerning. Or at least it should be having that effect. Yeah, it doesn't look like be working for some reason. Okay. Then yeah, let's start the KF uh, Kentucky Fried Slaughter. Just means we can bring all the chicken downstairs for them to eat. So, in a way, this is actually good you doing this now. Yeah, we were Very getting annoyed by our noises. Yep, and just give us more eggs, more meat, and more feathers. And we just can throw all the... all the meat downstairs with them. Yeah, they the, just threw the, the eggs for more chicken. On the chicken. 
Yeah, just good. Again, you have to agree. We definitely be stockpiling up the uh, chef's kitchen quite a lot with chicken. Okay, those go in there. And down we go. Okay. What is making that? It's okay. the... It's, it, but well, more I think I thought someone was digging around something was digging around. Yeah, me too. Something was walking near us. Okay, you need new access. How is the building going? Zero percent used. Yep, that's because there's still a lot that needs to be dug out above there. Uh, how is the cook doing? Then again it's nighttime now. Have they started cooking stuff? It doesn't look like it. Hmm. Oh, and these have grown up. Okay. Then let's pass on the clock today. Then we'll continue digging out above the house. And try upgrading that to level 2 immediately, so at least half of the colonists will stop complaining about not having a house. Yeah, uh, I think I may know what you may have done wrong. Uh, let, let, let's go to the kitchen and see what the recipe was. For, I I wonder, maybe you should add the chicken, then the fuel source. Yeah, they should automatically use any fuel source. And yeah, raw chicken to cook chicken. All right. Uh, I guess we'll get to see here in a second. They should have plenty of sticks to work with. I get to build it again. I get to build it again. Not good enough, eh? Yeah, uh, she's too hungry to cook. Okay. Oh, I, uh... I, I, I... Okay, that was a creeper going after the builder, I think. Actually, we have plenty of logs. We can build, cook with that, probably. Or we could just... We could automate uh, charcoal production. Somehow, I... Hmm. I know I built a charcoal generator in Aldermod 6. Uh, but it, I required a, <laughs> I required a guide on how to make that, and it used a mod that isn't available for for this version of the game. Oh, oh that's, you're going up there. Yeah, yeah. The builder is going to get themselves killed at this rate. Yeah, unless he's, he understood can go up here and dig out and help out a, a bit, even though he sh probably shouldn't. It says we are the ones with the tools. Yeah, and they're using the iron pickaxe, it seems now. All right, so you okay. go a bit faster. Ezra and Haddock in the Hancock. <laughs> yeah. Not Hand. <laughs> Weird movie. Weird movie. Uh, you mean the Tintin one? Hancock. Or something. Uh. <laughs> the one with Will Smith. Oh, that one, yeah. I, I've not seen the full movie of that, but I have heard the, a basic summary. Basically, yeah, it, what it, if superheroes had uh, axes and it didn't go well? Yeah, like, it, it's not horrible, but it's not awesome either. Like, there's some good ones you can love, but... Okay, I want to say, I think most many times I actually was annoyed by it. And I guess I was a bit disappointed for... I probably had more expectation for a Will Smith movie. Yeah. That is one of the uh, drawbacks of fame. You you start getting... You st people start having expectations about you. No, he's, he's digging pretty quickly from the sound of it. Yeah, and... I think I was, uh, I was surprised that he himself wrote it or something. 
that's new for me. But I know he writes some movies. I just unsure how well they might now gonna go. Hmm. No, you're not taking I, I, care of it, then, Ezra. We, we, you need help. I think he wrote at least part of the script of that movie where his that where his son was the lead character. Like the, I think there was the new Karate Kid or something, the new attempt at the Karate Kid oh, movie. Oh wait, oh yeah, he wrote the one where they traveled back to Earth after many years, where Earth uh, had evolved without humans after a while. Okay. I forgot, I forgot its name, but it was an interesting movie, but not as... It, it also felt a bit overhyped. Yeah, I typically don't try not to have many expectations for media that's coming out, be it movies or video games. Because, yeah, if you... If you overhype yourself, or if the well, the make the, the creators or fans overhype something, generally you're going to end up with more disappointments than much else. Yeah, I keep telling a friend that who easily over extremely is excitement over the singles thing, and many of them have become disasters. And I keep telling him, "Do you remember every, what happens every time you get overhyped?" Or you ex this excited? Uh, no, yeah. it usually goes bad, and you complain to me about it. So I hope they finally start to learn to be a bit like, sure, be excited, just maybe not blindly excited. Yeah. Um, enjoy in moderation, as uh, a certain uh, company's uh, motto here goes. I think that's Heineken. Yeah, <laughs> or something like that. Enjoy that's moderation, it translates to about. Oh, yeah, I think I heard it. That's actually a good uh, line for a beer company, even. Yeah. <laughs> okay, just going to keep digging around here. I probably should dig things in a way that. Uh, Haddock there is going to stay safe and not going to drop to his death the moment I have to finish this off. Oh dear. Uh, okay, that just made me realize something. That I talked to, to others and we came to agreement that beer commercials are usually good. At least they usually are funny. Yeah. But I know at least in the Netherlands here, they tend to put quite a bit of effort into the humor. And you, you've seen a few Dutch commercials that I've linked to, like the one with the lion. Yeah, and I know there's a Dutch horror movie about lions in Amsterdam. Hmm. But yeah, Wasn't I agree. Uh, th this... This... What the... Oh. Uh, right. Uh, there's one big commercial I still remember that... Most of those specials and people did the joke to me after they see, saw it. No? It's speed related. <laughs> of course. It's... <laughs> it was the Falcon beer? I don't know if they own the Swedish or not, but... They were about extra thick, and the one with the biggest beard that is most frozen puts out a beer from his beard. <laughs> and he just said... Extra thick or something, and yeah, people started to do that to my uh, uh, as yes towards me when I was starting to grow a thick beard. Though, if they only could see how big my beard is now, wait enough to hold a fridge. Uh, no, but I have on re very rare occasion found a cheese stool there. <laughs> Probably <laughs> twice in my lifetime, I actually found after that I had a cheese stool in my beard. But I can't keep beer in it, sadly. Okay. A bit more. There we go. It's not a good idea to dig directly underneath you, but well, I can see there's still a few layers underneath to go. Well, in some places here, at least, yes, that opens up immediately after. I... <clears throat> immediately after I said that. Uh, 
Okay. It's good enough. Uh, let's dig away at the bottom here so Haddock doesn't have to do that and probably get himself killed by digging out underneath him. And our inventory is full, so there we go. Inventory not full. <laughs> Hmm. It will be it will be interesting when we get this builder up to the the high levels where they should be able to just do all of this very quickly. <clears throat> or at least have to be skilled enough to do all of this quickly. Oh yeah, that's gonna be very interesting. And yes, it is annoying to get things started. I, I, I'm just happy we upgraded the backpack. If otherwise, I feel you've been having to run a few times now to empty it. Yep. Okay, just digging towards the stairs. Trying not to dig out underneath the haddock. <laughs> and just destroying what's behind me. The question is, so, how do we get him down? Uh, we could probably put some blocks down where he'll be forced to go get them. Or we just... Uh, yeah, just... Hmm. Rob and hope for the best. <laughs> uh, actually, we dug one too far to the side here. So... We can do... Hmm. Just a bit more. There, now he can safely return if he's not too stupid. What are you asking about? No guard or no house? Okay. <laughs> and he it's just fuck, He just fucks off. <laughs> I didn't hear anything about fall damage either, so maybe they don't even take fall damage to begin with. This is probably good. Yeah, he, he just took long. He just took one look at his watch and <laughs> saw that the, his ship was over and fucked right off home. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that at least gives us the space. To clean up the rest. And then he should be able to finally get started with just bloody building. Yeah. Uh, oh, I, I really hope the, the house upgrading will be cheap. Instead of just having to make many, many houses due to lack of materials. Yeah, that is one thing that uh, can take up a real lot of amount, a lot of space. There. Uh, come on. Yeah. At least, luckily enough, we we all get the resources, metals, and whatnot from this. Yep. For sure. I said that we get stone from this all, but we did not mine like this. We, yes, the more than stone we get, we get in dirt, variation of stone, different kinds of stones, metal ores, crystals. Yeah. And, yeah, once I'm done with a pillar like this, I just get to the top and just dig down. And all the side bits get dug up with the hammer as well. There we go. Now, let's get all of these before they, before they despawn. Even the littlest bit will be useful for, yeah, <clears throat> alchemy fuel. Nah. And whatever we don't know about yet. Yep. Okay. And we might as well help dig out just the flooring here. It, it seems that they they really just want to dig up, uh, dig from the uh, top to the bottom, because the build the builder was having difficulty making the restaurant because they couldn't reach the ceiling. 
Okay, I, I, guess I think makes I'll just sense. Yeah, I, I think I'll just stick to calling them the builder instead of giving them an act, actually naming them or calling them by name too much because there's a good chance they'll die from something. Yeah, it would be better to uh, use their names when we know they're not gonna die. Yeah. Okay. So this layer needs to be flattened out completely because they're going to be putting dirt on that. A bit odd that they use dirt in a something true dwarven. Maybe the, the developers didn't think you would actually build underground like we do. Uh, maybe, but if you call something dwarf and you're going to go underground with it. Yeah, to agree. Well, there are hill dwarves as well, and there are some artwork of dwarves building on the surface. But they probably would prefer to do it up and below, like... Some things they would need to grow on the surface, like... Uh, yeah, beehives and all that. Well, you don't grow beehives, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Like wheat, potatoes. That reminds me, I should take another look at the farm and put down more of the uh, carrots. Or just start a farm with both of those down here as well. Because like I said, they require... Colonists can get sick. And the easiest way to heal them is with carrots and potatoes, or at least for the most common of uh, diseases that I'd seen that I've seen in previous, uh, <clears throat> well, the, the last time that I played uh, all the mods, which was on the sixth version. There we go. Feed and breed. There's a lot of eggs down there already. Actually, I can just jump down. Okay, all of you have been fed. Okay. And one lays an eggs immediately after I get out. Okay. There we go. Only one new chicks from that, I think. Yeah, well. Uh, let there be lights. Okay. There you go. Actually, after this, we might be able to upgrade this since we now have access. Uh, we need we need jungle still. Yeah, so... I, I did say that. We need uh, we need jungle, but not. <laughs> the trees got a bit bigger than expected. Have you even found a jungle yet? Nope, I don't think so. Let's see. That's forest. Let's see. It actually at the bottom, uh, above the uh, all the yeah, above all the icons, it says what we're looking at directly: the birch leaves, then the coordinates, and then the biome that's there. And that's a birch forest region. This is oak forest, orchard region, plains region. Uh, flower forest region. Zilkova forest region. <laughs> Old growth spruce. Tiaga. Okay, there's, they're adding quite a bit of words to everything there. Uh, also, this is a village. Uh, this is an inhabited village that I found. And yes, that is a pirate ship right next to it. So we can go look, take a look there. Hmm. I'll be damned. Should we... Should we take that over and claim it as ours? Well, our, our curve one looks cooler. <laughs> Most sure of ours that's... looks more hard to sink. Uh, jungle sapling. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Normal oak, acacia, and spruce. Let's exchange the spruce for the jungle at the moment and give all of these new access. Though we could make a we could make a fifth one as well. Uh, another time, I'd say. 
Yeah, some things we can be should do off stream. Oh, and they've started work on the house. Okay. Nice. Go put those in. And yeah, that's a good supply of wood. <laughs> How many more? Bloody five? heck! The, yeah, the, wouldn't that mean we should have easy time making coal? Just make several furnaces and burn them. And what the? Uh, all right, we have someone in the chat, Helian. Hello. Uh, Tier one, uh, do you like yeet money so big? Or what do you mean by that? <laughs> do ye yeet money? <laughs> What's so big? <laughs> anyway, so welcome to the stream. Uh, oh, it's, can I just call you Kier for ease's sake? <laughs> uh, put that there. It's a fire song. Uh, okay, I, one of them unaware of then. Uh, yeah, thank <laughs> Hello and welcome to the stream. We are playing all the mod 7 on, yeah, well, Minecraft. And we are currently making an underground village, among many things. Uh, yeah, we haven't even built our bloody town hall, but we're making... We <laughs> we're trying to get them to feed themselves and housed. And... It looks like they still haven't figured out how to... F here, here, and here. There we go. Now, are you going to bloody work now, finally? Because one of these should be cooking chicken here, but they aren't. Still hungry. Okay, now they're getting to work, at least. Right after they have another snack. Or are they just all rushing for the food that I have put in there? Now, there's the cook. Okay. And they just... I think that one... <laughs> Pardon? I think that one colonist just ate all of the steaks that we had. <laughs> Nina the glutton. Anyways. Uh, is there anything you need? You should have all the materials. Yeah, yeah. Okay, they need dirt. Okay. And I think they need I think they're using dirt as a filler material. Actually, I think that's set up in here somewhere. Settings, yeah, fill block, dirt. We can probably switch that to we're not switching that to TNT. Let's switch that to cobblestone. Because well we have more than plenty of that. There we go. Select. It will mean that we'll meet, need a lot more cobblestone in the future. But, well, we have plenty of cobblestone as is. Yeah, and as we excavate more and more, we're just going to get more and more. <clears throat> uh, also, anyways, I should have... I, I really should put up some name tags on this uh, stream overlay. I, I, I'm Alien, thank, and over there uh, we have Drakir, my co-commentator. Um. I should probably keep an eye on this place because, yes, that. Or I just put some torches around the place. That should keep things from despawning and they shouldn't break those blocks. Or they shouldn't break the torches since they're in the perimeter. <laughs> what is with my freaking tongue today? Oh. <laughs> Oh. Okay. Um, now, whilst they're building, uh, Nina is eyeing the chickens. Oh no! Don't eat them alive. Okay. Are they getting themselves fed now? Uh, but yeah, this mod that we're currently in a building of, it's a mine colonies. It's basically, well, make your own colony with NPCs and such. And it's it can be pretty tough and annoying to set up. Uh, but once you have things going, 
uh, they gen they if well if you've sent them up correctly, uh, they can be pretty self sufficient. Very helpful. Yeah. For the moment, our builder is making our, our first house, uh, which at its maximum level should look like this. Well, it'll be quite a bit until we get there. So for now, let's delete this preview. And, I was wondering uh, that uh, was there. <laughs> yeah, it, but this will really not place, place the uh, town hall there. Uh, let's see, let's jump back to the harbor for a second. Drop off all the metals. Yeah, all of the metals. And any other materials? No, I don't need to put something down up here. So I'll put the sticks there as well. Uh, anything in there? Yeah, a lot of cobblestone to get rid of and a lot of granite. I'm going to need to make more of those back, uh, boxes to keep all of this stuff stored. Uh, anything else in here? Let's grab all of it, get rid of it. There is one way to make this a hell of a lot easier using the refined storage mods. But that would take a bit to set up, and it would need a constant power supply as well. Yeah, and that doesn't sound one. fun to deal with. At least not on stream. Okay, crafting table on a stick. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I think it's better we keep it uh, somewhat medieval-ish. Oh, there, it's a, this is a bird's drawer. Okay. Uh, let's also make one for granite. Might as well get rid of that as well. So we have more than we want of that. There we go. I'm not really sure if we can make much out of granite except for decorative stuff. Nope. There's something that can spawn here. Not anymore. Okay, the, our horse wants out by the look of it. Uh, dirt. Andesite. Granite. Let's put everything else back so we can get, get rid of all of the stone. And the dirt. Uh, soapstone might as well. Shouldn't we do organizing off stream? Yeah, this will just be quick, but just making a few, uh, <clears throat> make a few of the uh, barrels or these storage drawers, and they'll be quick enough. Actually, just leave that there. Okay, enough for two more. Uh, we have one for logs. Uh, dirt goes there. And andesite goes there. More granite. And soapstone. We'll need a bit more wood for that. Not enough there. Next to and what am I <laughs> what am I talking about? Not enough wood. We have these literally filling up right behind us here. Yeah. Okay. Uh, with that done, let's see. Yeah, there's not much we can add on this now, since they just need to fill up the entire area there and start you know, get the building. They have everything. They're using it. So uh, we let's let's take a look into immersive engineering then. That way we okay. Uh, or is there another thing we would you'd like to take a look at? Let's... I was hoping we'd do some bit some adventure as well. Okay, we could. Let's see, magnets, advanced magnets, magnet. Okay, we could make that. It's 
well, it's what magnets do. It attracts stuff. Should be easy enough to quickly make. And then a bit of redstone, then a bit of lapis. And there. And there. And there. And there we go. And a charm. It counts bundle, glasses, heart amulet, Kleinstar, bracelet, bundle, body. Hmm. No slot for a charm. Can I... Hmm. Okay, we'll just have to keep it in our inventory bar then. Because if I, th I think if we put it in our inventory itself, it doesn't actually work in attracting stuff to us. But, yeah, let's see. Let's eat up a bit. Let's put these away for a second. And that there, just shove the rest in here. Actually, let's keep the spell book. Uh, we can use this to start looking into stuff eventually. Uh, some buckets are always useful. That goes in there. And the rest of this is generally useful. Can we actually teleport with our horse? That is something that I kind of want to know now. I think you can as long as you sit on them when you do it. Let's see. Teleport to that place. Oh, okay, yeah, it works. That, that is going... Oh, wait, no, it didn't work. What? Uh, uh, what the... Uh, hello? Okay. Don't sit on a horse when using teleporter. Uh, where the... F okay, I'm inside of something. Or is the game just glitching? Now we it put us on the ground. It, it buried us in andesite. Okay. Yeah, let's not. Yeah, it it, it looks seems to have put us be underneath the teleport point. <laughs> Okay, uh, if we save and quit and go back in again, will that fix that? Or is our horse just going to suffocate? Okay, single player, Gothos. Oh, no. This shouldn't take too long, at least. This game, this mod pack takes the longest to load when it's uh, yeah starting up just going into the world shouldn't take too long and yeah let's hope our horse didn't suffocate there yeah or us hmm. still odd that that happened uh, i guess i should uh, dig out the structure around the tele the, the waystone and why is it taking so long Either that or we should not teleport with the horses on. Hmm. It, it could be that I have mistook it before you could teleport with horses, but maybe you can't. Yeah, maybe what you read actually says don't teleport horses. Oh, no, no, not read more for what I, I thought. I thought I'd seen YouTubers use them while riding. Here we go. But uh, I might be wrong. We'll see in a second here, depending on what it'll load us in on. Either we're stuck on the ground or we're stuck at the harbor still. Or just stuck in <laughs> the rocks anyways. Hmm. It's taking an oddly long time this time. Hmm. Yeah, loading terrain. It, there we go. And what's that... What was that charging circle there? No idea. And... Let's park the horse in the stable again. Yeah, you can stay here. Tie you up just to be certain. And yeah, I guess what we'll, I guess that just means that we're going to need a horse for every one location. I'm still though going to dig this out. 
Might be what I uh, thought they brought horse for longer. They might just park that extra horse. And, hmm, when I think about it, we could claim the pirate ship as one of our many ships. Uh, actually, in the end. Have you ever wondered yourself in career of uh, Admiral? <laughs> well, now that, you saw, now that you bring it up, and did they just literally park this thing in someone's house? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not. I think they, uh, as you see here, they drew through it. <laughs> I hear spiders. I hear suffocating spiders, which is a good I thing. I think they're inside. I think they're inside the yeah, ship. Yeah, just need. Just need to find a place where we can get on, hopefully without breaking the hull. Okay, I, I think I see what's happened. I, I think they accidentally crashed onto the shore and stranded themselves right on someone's house. Again, I do this where I just put something aside and instead of putting it into my inventory, I just put it aside in the inventory that I'm accessing. Oh, hello. Oh, don't. Dolphin spawner. We're leaving that alone then. Unless dolphin the dolphins spawner. in this are utterly hostile. Alright. Uh, uh oh, I just remember something. Uh, I think there's seagulls in this mod. And yeah. um, they steal stuff. Yeah, like the ones in Ark. Yeah, <laughs> except they, they, they don't. You have a chance to get it back. You see them fly around with it, you can kill them and get it back. At least, but still. Oh. Yeah, we had enough of those pests in our cap. Yep, and I installed a mod recently that gives more animals, and apparently there's a special monkey that scares away pegos and the seagulls. Yeah, in Ark, you mean? Yep. Okay. So, if you ever play Ark for stream sometime, I could definitely recommend that mod if you steam some star monkeys, and that way we. You scare some monkeys to be spared from the seagulls. There we go. Okay. They have some rather flashy uniforms. I think that's just dyed leather. Yeah, but it looks enchanted with enchanted golden helmets, enchanted leathers, red boots. Looks rather really flashy. So why did you, why are they all just stuck in place? Is that, Not that I'm all that loot boxes? <laughs> yep, I'll hit my peek out and immediately get shot in the face. Okay, here we go. Oh, you're mobile. Oh, and you're also dangerous. Okay, there we go. Oh, right, the immune to the sun thanks to the helmet. But, oh, freaking silverfish. Wait, what? Uh, but where did that come from? It must have been from a block that was broken somewhere. So how, I have no idea. Hmm. And yeah, the villagers are pretty chill with pirates literally being stranded on their, sh on their shore. Oh, I th Okay, I think I see it. Or hear it, at least. That oh, it's... Really, they have... <laughs> they have silverfish as parrots on their shoulder. Ew! Okay, let's change this to our arm spell. Get in a bit of damage before we rush in. Because they're going to start needling us immediately. Wait, what? They shoot it backwards? So they're all flashy. <laughs> in more than ways than one. Okay, something hurt there for a second. But yeah, these uh, these stationary skeletons are mo supposed to be near yeah, cannons, I'm guessing. 
Fucking ton of them. Okay, I think they're fighting amongst each other as well. Oh, hell, hello. Oh, you, you're you the captain, I'm guessing. Ooh, get out. <laughs> yeah, they're fighting amongst each other up there. That's good for us. So let's just heal up whilst they're busy with each other. And maybe get some loot. Oh, hello, TNT. Hmm. I yeah, think TNT. we can still blow stuff up. The yeah, mob grieving is turned off, but... Maybe we should not blow up the... ship? Or... Are you doing mean TNT can't blow up the ship anymore? Uh, mobs can't destroy blocks, but we still can. And, okay, there's two of them. Actually, let's lure, lure them into the water, since that'll slow them down. There we go. Advantage us. Yo. There are more than one silver fish on them. Yeah. <laughs> so let's take let me take a quick look. Uh oh, I, I put the big sword back and uh I don't think you want to go there. Uh, I don't think they're going to be open to <laughs> negotiations. <laughs> okay, we needed to turn the magnet on. Uh, any food in any of these? Gunpowder, flint and steel. Oh, there's a spawner downstairs. There's the cannons. Yeah. Ah, crap. Ah, there we go. Okay, yeah, that's going to be an issue. Then again... Uh, I did show you... Was it night before? I, I did show you a way to disable spawners like that. That's uh, watch. Yeah, just gotta... Get in quick. And there. Ooh, there's still a bunch of them. Get out. Oop, yeah, oh. This might we take a while before we conquer the ship. Okay. At least there shouldn't be any more incoming now. Hmm. Actually, I should go back and we should. I think we got a bunch of what? silver. Uh, is that a head on his head? It looks like it. Okay. Um, if we go back real quick, I could make a sword uh, blade out of silver, which deals extra damage against undead. Oh, definitely. That, that sounds like a good idea. Let's put that away. A uh, small blade handle. And the thing about it, eight many of the enemies in Minecraft undead. Yep. It's got a poor. But it would make it a, a very good uh, weapon for whenever you want to. Fight a pirate ship. Uh, raw so silver. I think, I think most of them are, are manned by uh, skeletons. Yep. Okay, just got a smell that. Uh, we'll have to get more gold not to lose this here. Uh, yeah, definitely going to need more gold to save that. This kind of means that this base, casting basin is out of commission until we can fix that. Okay, silver is not mixing together with anything. Okay. I don't think I've heard anyone make alloy of silver. Okay, there we go. But sneaky motherfucker, just as I put my sword away. Well, he knew what you're making. I want to put an end to it. And... Oh, I thought someone entered your ship, but it was just a squid. <laughs> okay, small silver blade that goes from. 
7.3 damage to 7.58. But we plus make a 2 on one? that. Uh, big weapons would take a lot more materials at the moment. Oh, uh, we can do that some other time. For now... Uh, I should probably also put on a metal helmet. One, two, three, four, yeah, five. We, we definitely need to off-stream renovate the ship and start getting some gear. Yep. Uh, zero, whatever the hell. Okay, here we go again. With a more damaging blade. I think I also put some quartz on this thing to make it more damaging. Uh-oh. And that's the two-hour mark, but let's just finish up still. Don't forget the shield. Yeah. Luckily, we can see them draw their arrows and still get hit, even though we tried to time with it. Oh, hello. I'll be taking that. 32 iron is certainly good. And some armor. Enchanted armor, even. Uh, let's see. Soulbound Curse of Binding Pre prevents from being removed. Yeah, we're not... Mana boost and tombstone. But, uh, hello. <laughs> Okay, Polly wants uh, a sneak peek. <laughs> Come on, I was blocking there. There we go. Why did I kill him? Oop. Diamonds, emeralds, and more. Oh, protection and unbreaking. Yeah, that that is good. That is really good. Okay. And some books and paper. Can we break these without losing them? Yes, we actually can. Oh, they're disguised player heads. Okay. Let's take them all the same. Oh, and another one of... Oh, reservoirs. I think we need these for... Oh, no, those those are Corvus fruit. Those... Okay, we need that for something. Not I have Shulker. We need those for spell for the hex casting spell book. Nice. And it should even have bookshelves. Okay. Uh, let's finish clearing out the ship, and then we'll call it. Oops. So we almost died to one of these again. Luckily, these miniature red hearts are very useful for healing. There we go. The uh, rest should be pretty easy to clear out, because the spawner should be disabled. Oops. Say as I get ambushed. I should... Hmm. I don't remember if you can... Oh, wait, uh, what the... I thought that thing was disabled. Apparently not disabled enough, at least. Or not deactivated. I almost killed myself there. Yeah, maybe we need to uh, destroy it. Yeah. Also, I can't wait to really start equipping our guards with... Wait, can we give them things we find? Uh, yeah, but they do need to be a certain level. Or at least they're... they're the guard tower needs to be. Okay, let's just quickly rush in, destroy that spawner. There we go. And that is a lot of... That's a lot of silver fish. And oh, hello! We'll be taking these. Three red beds! Now, are we even getting them, or... Oh, right. The magnet is pulling stuff near to us. So even if we're not picking stu something up, we're still dragging it around like a cloud of stuff. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, just grab these. Uh, yeah, make sure you grab them. Yeah, they, since these don't stack. There we go. Yeah, we, we have, we're going to have to investigate it. Wait, do I have any seeds to tame the parrot? Um, not with us, but I do. There are... Oh, oh, there's a bunch of you down here. There are some farms down along the coast here that we could use to uh, get some seeds. And I think there's another spawner here. going to get myself killed by a stupid silver fish. Yep, there's another spawner. And there's another death. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, let's get the, our loot back. Yeah, it, it should only be one more level for us to fight through. Especially with how the, the trail is leading <laughs> straight horizontal. Okay, luckily whilst we're well, carrying our key around like this, we are invisible. So we can just sneak around and get ambushed. And killed again. <laughs> the death chain. Okay, that is... You survived less than one minute after your last death. Come on. <laughs> uh, luckily, there should be some... There should be a way for us to upgrade ourselves in this uh, spooky form. Um, I forget what button we need to press for that. Also, let's just put on a... Yeah, this is the end of the ship, so let's just loot. And then get out of here. And end the stream as well. This block of coal, let's take that. Resources are always nice. Oh, lots of coal. Uh-oh. Mm. There's one more over there. Yep. Lo lots of TNT. <laughs> So if we want to start uh, uh, blast uh, digging or blast mining, yeah, blast mining would be the word, uh, we can do that. Yeah, I was suggesting yeah. earlier if you could do that at some point for it. It could be helpful for coloni fixing the colony, uh, depending how, of course, how much it blows up. Nope. No, this one is trying to sneak up on me. Okay, giving up the chase. Okay, don't mind me if you sh as I shoot you in the face with a the spell then. Now, I'm not going to die to stupid silver fish. Yeah, many Minecraft players hate them. And I th Okay, I thought it infested that one. Oh, oh hello. Uh, thank you, DZGoat033, for following. <laughs> I hope you'll enjoy the show. Uh, I'm I'm not playing online, sorry. So uh, the, there's no server for you to uh, to be able to join. Sorry about that. I could try and start up a dedicated server with this at some point, uh, with some friends perhaps. But uh, they'd have I'd have to put out the uh, modified mod pack for that. Okay, sorry, but uh, yeah, maybe another time. We're also going to end. We're going also going to have to end the stream in a bit. And hello, oh hell, melons and a lot more loot. We were just continuing this stream until we cleaned out this uh, pirate ship. And well, we, what is with all of this? Oh, of course, fruits for sea voyage, so you don't get scurvy. Uh, I think <laughs> this is the wrong kind of fruit. Yeah, they need oranges for that. Uh, still, I'll take all of this. 
and then we'll grab the, the chests and yeah then we'll then we can end the stream okay. bloody heck so much loot and food well it, it was a lot of skeletons that we had to kill to get all of this true it's it, uh, a full ship literally <laughs> Which we can now call ours. Okay. Let, what is in all of these? Foods. Okay. Let's put more stuff away here. Uh, some more emeralds. Some fish. A spell. And even more fish. And a crab as well. Yep. More fish. <laughs> okay. Meat yeah, and fish. Okay. I think we should Meat. be able to put some of these food into the kitchen. Yep. Okay. And yeah, that's all that's on this ship, I think. Unless there is something in the crow's nest. If we can even climb up there. No, there's no way to easily uh, climb uh, up there. Uh, there's one uh, next to you. Uh, next to the stairs. Behind you. Uh, the the yeah. golden chest... There. Behind you! Oh. Behind you! Oh, in the corner here. Okay, some more yeah, TNT stuff. Yeah, next to the stairs. <laughs> yeah, I thought you meant the stairs down. Okay, there we go. Now all of the loot okay. has been gathered. And, uh, yeah, we have our own <laughs> pirate ship. Okay. Or pirate... I think this would count as a galleon, actually. That looks like a galleon. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's head back then. We also know now that we can make... Actually, if the parrots came with the spawns, then we kind of can't get a parrot now. But, yeah, oh well for that. Um, but yeah, we'll have to end it here. A bit extra time for some loot. Uh, the colony should be doing well. Let's have a checkup on them. It's daytime, so the builder should be building. And they should have a decent amount of food at the moment. Oh, are they are they done with it? No, they just oh right, we 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 had to restart, so this area wasn't completely loaded. Okay. Uh yeah. I'll continue on this. I'll get uh, I'll have them finish up that house, maybe build a guard tower around here as well. Uh get the town hall built finally. Maybe make get a tavern as well. And uh, yeah, beyond that, I'll explore a bit more around. Uh, I'll definitely put these to use. Uh, for now, they can go in here. I'll, I'll probably expand this a bit. And I'll just look into the other mods as well, like immersive engineering for stuff as well. Yeah, we, uh, we should probably also next time investigate which tunnel we should block off. Yeah, where, like, where the hell did that baby zombie come from in the first place? Yeah. <laughs> oh well, for now though, uh, let's take a look if there is someone online to raid. Uh, let's see. Ta -ta. Shrimp OS is online. And there's someone playing Spelunky 2. Someone playing Out There Oceans. That's not a game or anything I'm familiar with. Yeah, someone playing Monster Sanctuary. I think I've heard of that. But I'm not entirely sure. I've heard of so, it. Okay, so shall we go raid them then? Yeah, might as well. Okay, let's take a peek. Copy over their URL. And then, there we go. Channel slash raid paste. There we go. Okay. Uh... Yeah, whilst we wait for the raids, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. And uh, thank you, you know, Tier uh, Tier One for showing up and chatting a bit. Thank you as well, Dizagoat033. Uh, you're free to come and look. Up. I only now notice that I put a freaking typo in the <laughs> in the stream uh, title. It's Minecraft instead of Minecraft. Uh, but oh yeah, dear. Th thank you for watching, and if you if you liked it, you're of course, free to come look some other times. For now, though, uh, next week we will be continuing with Sanzara on the main week, hopefully. 
uh, I'll have to see when I will be able to stream. And the weekend, hopefully we can actually, I had this weekend off. So next weekend will be work. So likely no weekend work, you know, weekend streams. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll just have to see why we can fit in everything from Zanzara to Monkey Island and this, of course. But until then, uh, thank you all again for watching. Thank you, Drakir. And until next time, have a good uh, day. And until then. Be safe, folks. And watch out for seagulls.